we know the millions, to say the least. Right? Most people do. Despicable me. 2010, you know it and I know it. I remember the first time I saw it with the boys, and I remember saying, okay, they're yellow, which is fine. I have no issue with that. I don't believe there's one person in this room who thinks skin color is important. Anyway, all, all, all we know about medians, of course, it's all predicated on despicable me directly. That's the whole, there's, it doesn't work without the first despicable me at all. However, all of us understand there's a lot more than that, right? Despicable me too. 2013, sure, moral group, that's okay. But where it matters is millions. 2015, you, you must understand that and then you understand everything. I'll back that up in a moment. And, and, but, but, then it was 2017, despicable me three. That was the one with Gru's brother, right? I, if, if 10% know it, I will be shocked. I believe none know it, because the media couldn't care less, to be perfectly honest. But <laughs> I got a better one. 2022 mentions two, the rise of group. Everybody knows that one. Seems to have done real, real well. But, and now, last year, we found out that they're, they're, they're thinking of doing despicable me for. Does, <laughs> do, does, does that mean despicable for me? For me. <laughs> Anyway, millions themselves, that's what this is ultimately about. I was taught from despicable me. One, the greatest evil in this country is felonious group. Of course, that's true. The will of that man's heart has always been toward evil from his youth. But the millions are his friends. They live with him and his home and they help the guy, which is completely counterintuitive because they're so nice. I love them. I do, I, 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 and, I and I'm not kidding when I say I love them. I mean, I find it hard not to, right? Millions are polite and kind, and, and, but, but they have an affinity for despicable human beings. I'm, I'm not joking, I am not joking. How many of you, raise your hand, I, I, you know, I very rarely, I don't like when speakers do this, but, but I'm doing it because I have to do it for, to make my point. So raise your hand, raise your hand if you have never viewed the motion picture. Millions, 2015, raise your hands please. Everybody look around at how many hands are up, okay? So this is, is it fair to say between a third and a half? So some of you probably don't know about how they began. Let me give you a few of the key things that I learned from the beginning part of it, because this is critical that you know this, okay? First of all, millions have been on Earth for much longer than people, and they're not like you or anyone else. And you know why? Because millions can't die. Never! If people observe that millions over time, they're, they're, they're all the same. I mean, really, exactly the same. I mean, it's, it's just one and only one group of them. That's the fact. For thousands of years, at least. These, these very millions who are faithful, to group today they have been the sole emotional, sometimes even the physical support for some of history's most pure, pure, purely sadistic people. And I will give you example after example, okay? Picture the Jews leaving Egypt. Moses standing with a rod, the, the cloud guiding them unto the sea, and Pharaoh's chariot following after them. Well, now a picture running right behind him. There's a bunch of millions. That's right. And you know what? Pharaoh's about to drown in the sea. But the millions can't die. I want to dwell on that for a moment. God takes the Israelites, the chosen people, into the promised land, right? And who is there? Bob, Devin, and Stuart, and all the rest of them. But, but, my friends... But they don't support the Ten Commandments. The millions reject the divine and wish to bring humanity back to chaos. Yeah. The beginning part of millions 2015 also shows you the millions fighting in a war, fighting in the middle of actual armies. 
Think about it. The most morally despicable men in history, leading an army of millions who, uh, again, can't die. Which means even if they are not the greatest listeners, they'll still have a massive advantage. That's bad news. And then I started to realize this was the epiphany. You know when that thing happens where out of nowhere, they went to some secret place. I think, uh, I think it was Russia. Is it? Anyway, it was just a wasteland. And they just happened to be there between 1812 and 1968. Wait a minute. You know what happened in the world at that time in history? Look it up on the internet. Some of the most despicable things that the millions could ever picture. And they, they want you to just believe that the millions never once heard about the American Civil War. That they did nothing during World War I. That they couldn't care less during World War II. Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Not for a moment. That is the great dividing line, by the way, between me and the people who write the despicable me. We because they have been brainwashed into thinking that the millions are basically good, even though they sometimes help evil people, right? They destroy stuff, even though they don't mean to. No, they do bad because they think it's the right thing to do. They do bad because it's what they want. They do bad because they are bad and they never, never, went to any Russian cave between 1812 and 1968. And I challenge any columnist at the New York Times $20,000 to debate me anywhere in the country on that issue. I believe that the millions were there in the United States in the 1860s. And I believe that they would probably have been fighting under General Lee, or maybe Jefferson Davis, giving their support to the project of white supremacy. Because those men were both despicable human beings, and that's what they want. Do you think after the war, when the American armies pushed them out of the country, do you think they wouldn't have started to look around the world for a new boss? Of course they would. It's what they do. It is hard to say exactly which person the millions would have started following at that moment in history. But I believe that the millions were probably in Europe when the most despicable people were obviously the fascists, communists, and Nazis. And I believe that when the Nazis marched throughout the land, that following the most important and most powerful of them would have been exactly what the millions would have loved. And let me tell you something. When I say that at a college campus, there's booing. That's the problem. You know how many Americans are afraid to say what they think about where the millions were between 1812 and 1968? Because they'll lose their job or lose their friends, lose their income. That's the fact. You are no longer in good standing if you believe that perhaps the millions were in the U.S. in the 1950s running around in little Ku Klux Klan hoods voting for Governor Wallace and fighting for segregation. And you know what? People tell me you can't say that about millions, but I believe what I believe, and I believe that millions have done real, real bad stuff that they will never fully admit, and they have never been held accountable for at all. So I will end with this. This is a very big deal. I believe that the millions ultimate aim, aside from power, that's their most immediate aim, and but obviously, but their ultimate aim is chaos. Thank you very much.